Welcome. In this video, I want to show you 25 foods that you can stock today in your working pantry. Now, this isn't a video about long-term food and tin cans and buckets and mylar bags. This is something that you can put in your pantry right now and eat. A lot of times when people are starting to prep, they think they should buy a lot of rice and beans, wheat, and freeze-dried food, and you don't have to. A lot of this food you see here is going to last two to five years or more. So you can buy for your working pantry food items that are going to keep for a long time as long as you store them properly. Let's take like beans and rice. We have beans and rice here. You can also buy beans in a can will last five years or more these beans are going to last for a long time this beans in a can will give you an option now let's start with meats you've got to have some protein i've tried to cover every meat i've got some beef underneath the beef is pork got chicken but you can also buy the smaller chicken, turkey, and then fish, salmon, and then tuna. And then back here I've got spam and some dak ham. And that pretty much covers all your meat needs right there. If you buy one can of each, you're talking maybe $40 worth of meat right there that's going to keep you for quite a while. One of the most important things in our diets is bread. And you need some flour, sugar, dry milk, and some butter. Now I freeze my butter. It will last a long time, probably close to a year in the freezer. But those ingredients will cover all your bread needs right there. Now then you want to cover breakfast. Get you some quick oats or your favorite cereal. I vacuum seal cereal. It'll last a couple years in mason jars that are vacuum sealed. For now, buy a couple of your favorite cereal, seal them up good, and they'll last a while. Now we have elbow macaroni, and with the elbow macaroni, you might look into buying this. This is canned cheese. Now I buy the Velveeta pouches, but they don't last quite as long as this cheese. And then we have spaghetti here, and buy you some spaghetti sauce. And then we have noodles. These egg noodles will last a long time. Or you can buy noodles in a small packet. Now you have many options on vegetables. I put out the basic ones, corn, green beans, carrots, potatoes, and tomatoes. There's a variety of vegetables that you can buy, peas, mixed vegetables, asparagus, the list goes on. And as far as fruits, I've got some mango and peach slices here. You can buy pineapples, mixed fruit, whatever your favorite fruit is. But if you buy this in a can, it's going to last quite a while. It's not going to last as long as freeze dried fruits like banana chips, but these are an option. They're going to last for a few years and it gets your pantry full and helps you fill your working pantry, turning it into a prepper pantry. Next, I want to show you some basic soups. We have some vegetable soup here, beef stew, chicken noodle, and mushroom. There's plenty of soups out there. The soup aisle at my local store has half the aisle full of just soups. Another staple ingredient for a prepper, mashed potatoes, instant potatoes. And you want to get yourself some oil. Also some condiments, whatever condiments you use. Make sure you have some seasonings, salt, pepper, whatever seasoning you use. I also use gravy mixes, spaghetti mixes. You might want to get some beef and chicken broth, some coffee, some tea, and then the prepper staples, rice and beans. I also buy 
pork and beans and chili beans. You know, it's all right to buy longer term foods in buckets and tin cans and to seal your own rice in mylar bags or mason jars and have oxygen absorbers and everything. But a lot of this food is going to last you several years and it's fairly easy to go to the store, grab it off the shelf, put it in your pantry and let it sit there till you need it. Now, one of the main things though, buy things you're going to eat. If you're not going to eat it or it's something you don't like, but you think, oh, it's a proper food, I need to have that, you're never going to eat it and it's going to be a waste of money. Well, there you have it. Different foods that you can buy right now that will be part of your long-term storage, but also all these foods are really in my working pantry. Thank you for watching and as always, happy prepper shopping.